So we just found out a pretty awesome trick and we're testing to see if it works right now. Apparently, when you're doing dungeons in Pal World, if you get to the final dungeon room, you can see this final dungeon room right here. This is where the boss is going to spawn. If you approach the room, you can see what boss spawns. So those are those Roselias back there right now. So they div they definitely changed. And now what you can do is if you're looking for specific pals that you want to be bosses, you can leave that back room. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna head to the previous room, which is also going to respawn and recycle the pals that are in there. So you can actually continuously farm up a dungeon this way, which is actually really interesting. So if we go back into here, I don't think we even need to clear this out. <gasps> Wait, those are those catrices. I want one. <laughs> yeah, I say everything in my head faster than I type, so I forget words. <laughs> Todd, well, thank you for the absolutely insane comment that we somehow were able to translate and learn this amazing trick. So Todd, you're amazing. We certainly appreciate you. All right, so now that we have cleared that room, I don't think we have to actually clear that back room. I think we just need to walk back and forth to get them to respawn. But now as we go back to the boss room, we should be able to see it respawn with a new pal. Oh, we've got the, the Catrice back there as the boss. Now, the great part about this is it can be done in any dungeon. So if you're really wanting to farm up certain pals that can have better stats and things like that, this is a great way to farm up like the alpha or boss pals that you're looking for. Right now, I'm actually looking for a flamethrower one. So I'm in a lower level dungeon uh, trying to find a specific pal that you can hold and turn into a flamethrower. And I would really like to have a boss version of it and a boss version with good passive skills as well. We'll go over all of that stuff. But the reason you want to do this is because you might need to actually farm up quite a few of them. So we're just going to keep recycling this. You don't have to clear the mobs in the back room. Basically, you just run to and from this location. You get them to despawn, and then you can respawn them by just approaching the, uh, the little doorway like that. And you don't have to fight anything to keep recycling the bosses in that back room. Just kind of run back and forth, and it'll respawn that entire room for you. Ah, uh, this is exactly what I was looking for. Uh, there's actually quite a few of them in here. So I want to actually capture all of these um, because we need to enhance them as well. So we got a whole bunch of Fox Sparks in here. I wonder if I hit it with a Giga Ball since they're low level. If they have a, a high enough catch rate, they do. I want to catch all of these Fox Sparks because uh, we have a way to be able to enhance them and be able to make a stronger pal out of it. Oh my God, there's so many. There we go. The, the boss ones are level 13. This is actually a great way to farm up specific pals that you're trying to use to enhance as well. Ooh, our poor Dire Hal is having a bad day. Okay, we've got to hop off, put that thing away. That is our mounts. All right, because eventually you're going to end up needing almost 100 total to be able to completely enhance uh, one of your pals. Okay, that's the bosses. we got to weaken the boss before we can capture it. There we go. We got one of the boss fox sparks. It had Zen Mind on it. That's not the skill we're really looking for. There we go. The second boss one. Ah, oh, we got a boss one with Muscle Head. That is exactly what we were looking for with that. So we're back at the base now, and I want to show the difference between having Muscle Head and not. So you can see here that the first boss that we caught has Zen Mind on here. And if we go into detail, Zen Mind has an increase in neutral attack damage. We have no neutral attacks on here. But really what we want is this Huggy Fire. This thing is awesome. So when activated, equips to, uh, to the player and transforms into a flamethrower, which is absolutely awesome. But you'll notice here that we have 186 attack, 135 defense, and 70 work speed. But when we go over here, we've got 249 attack with the Muscle Head. Muscle Head increases the attack by 30%. It does increase the work speed or decrease the work speed, so it won't be a good worker. However, it is absolutely amazing. We did, for some strange reason, lose some defense here, though. We lost like four points of defense, but otherwise, this is going to be exactly what I want. To be able to use Huggy Fire, we want to get this Fox Sparks harness. We can learn it under our technology. We need to craft one of these, and this will allow us to actually pick it up and use it as a flamethrower. Now what we can do is head over to one of these bad boys. This is a PAL con condensation menu and we can assign a pal here. And what we can do is we can actually consume other Fox Sparks to be able to increase the power of our current ones. So we're gonna get increased HP, we're gonna get increased attack, and we're gonna get increased defense. And we're also going to get Huggy Fire level two, which is going to increase the amount of damage that we can do with Huggy Fire. But we do have to consume four of the pals to be able to do this, and it has to be four of the same pals. So we can use the condensation, there we go. But now you'll notice if we wanna do it again, it's gonna take 16. 
which is a pretty substantial increase. The final level being 64, I think, of the Fox Barks to be able to do that. So I just wanted to make a quick video covering these Alpha Pal farms. They have better stats and are definitely worth getting. And I really recommend getting yourself one of these because being able to shoot a freaking flamethrower with your pal is pretty amazing. And the damage is insane as well. I'll have a video specifically about this in the future as well as maxing out your pal stats. But being able to get the Alpha Pals this way and farm up specific ones is amazing. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.